for cheap gold, items and other boosts for Diablo 4, visit AOEAH.com. Check out the link in the description, you get 3% off with the code Ariad. Hello and welcome everybody. In this guide, my Sorn's Barb gets a small upgrade and becomes a double swing Sorn's Barb. However, we will need more Uber Unix. While the Sorn's built it already fine just with a melted heart of Zelik, we definitely need the Harlequin crest here and if possible also Doombringer and Grandfather. Greetings and thanks go out to Kilo, he helped me getting knowledge and making the Barbarian that strong. But let's take a look at everything in detail. Here you can see the skill tree. Basically it looks similar to the other Thorns Barb, but instead of using Steel Grasp, we now play Double Swing. The DS Barb already dominated the PvP battlefield last season and this build basically combines the advantages of both, Double Swing and Thorns. We play the three shouts and the ultimate Wrath of Berserker. The expertise is the two-handed axe mastery here. The paragon system is very straightforward, we take different types of damage reduction, a lot of life and since we rely on the legendary node Blood Rage, we also want a lot of berserking damage, so the multiplicative damage bonus scales very high. I'm playing the new glyph here. Otherwise I'd put Marshall into the Carnage board and redistribute the superfluous attribute points to add flawless technique. There you can get even more damage reduction against close enemies or more alive. Since the boards are arranged in a cross, you can also easily create variants here. For example, if you play against builds that deal damage over time, it might be clever to use the Hemorrhage board instead of Bonebreaker. There you can get damage reduction against Dot and against bleeding enemies. The vampiric powers are similar to the other Thorns Barb. I can replace Hemomancy or Metamorphosis by Resilience without changing the packs on the equipment. The same applies to Jacked Spikes, I can also replace it by Moonrise. So I can vary a bit here. Now the equipment. We'll definitely play a Harlequin Crest, it's kinda must have if you want to mess with the best. We play Razor Plate, but we should also have a defensive chest armor in the sideboard. I use it in the Abattoir of Zir for example and in PvP against builds that deal massive damage. The Disobedience aspect is actually superfluous for PvP, we already get to 9200 armor without it. Then gloves with double swing levels, attack speed and crit chance. Attack speed after dodging is rolled by a rogue. Here I play the accelerating aspect. Then I got some defensive pants with armor, life and damage reduction. And ideally also dodge chance. So the dodge IAS triggers more often. Dodge chance and attack speed after dodging are especially important in duels against other barbs. You just stand on the spot and hit each other. And both the dodging of some attacks and the speed boost afterwards give you some good advantages. I've got two different pairs of boots, this one with dodge chance I also use against other barbs, where I don't need resistances and still benefit from the damage reduction when injured. But I also have some triple resist boots with running speed, which I use when I need the resistances of course. As on my double swing build, I use the exploiters aspect here. On the two handed weapon I play the aspect of elements, it's very strong. Priority affixes are strength, berserking damage, all stats and damage versus close. We play Doombringer and the one handed mace with inner calm, which is again great versus barbs. But the needle flare aspect is still in the sideboard, I play it in PvE or sometimes against opponents who run away a lot. Then there is Grandfather, but I think this weapon is not that important. 
so when missing don't worry. In any case we want to have the assimilation aspect on a ring. Best in slot affixes are critical strike chance, resource generation, life and berserking damage. With the amulet I have two settings again. Against other barbs I play my defensive amulet with the thorns aspect. Against sorcerers and rogues however I also like to use zelic. A quick look at the statistics. I have got about 9200 armor and can maximize the important resistances when necessary. I also have very strong damage reduction by various affixes. Damage reduction against close, vulnerable and bleeding enemies. Against elite. Damage reduction when healthy or injured. As well as general damage reduction. If I put on the defensive chest I can get even more damage reduction. And with the disobedience aspect I can stack a lot more armor, which can be useful in high dungeons or the abattoir of Zir. Depending on the setup, I also have about 40,000 life, which varies a little with the sideboard items. Let's move on to the playstyle. The build offers the same advantages as the thorns barb, but here we have the double swing as an additional argument, so we simply knock out a lot more damage. Many barb builds are tanky enough to withstand the pure thorns damage, but adding double swing you can crack them. When playing against mages and rogues I like to use the melted heart of Zelik. So I got some better protection against damage over time and also against high damage peaks from a ball lightning attack. I only use the double swing in between and basically play the same way as with the other build. After all Fury is also a shield when playing Zelik and Lunging Strike plus Thorns is just enough for most rogues and mages. I keep Lunging Strike pressed and click double swing in between, keeping an eye on my resources. If they go down too far, I wait with my double swings. Against Barbarians I play Dutch Boots and Defensive Amulet. In principle I can also defeat Sorceresses and Rogues with this setup, but I'm not as safe as with my other setup. A ball lightning source with high damage or a hunter with lots of poison plus rapid fire can surprise me. But what can be really dangerous is a good firewall sorceress. So this build is much stronger than the pure thorns build in both PvE and PvP. Like before we have the most thorns when challenging shout and berserking are active. Have a lot of fun trying out, I wish you a merry christmas, have a good time and may the loot be with you. I
greetings. Folgt mir. Danke. Wiedersehen.